Hello and welcome to episode 49 of my Working with Evernote series. And in this week's episode, I want to turn to some of the things that I don't really like about Evernote and how I actually do something about it. So basically what I want to do is, uh, in previous episodes, I've talked to you about my incubator file, which I have in Evernote. And with the recent update to iOS uh, Evernote application, the problem I've had is it still hasn't solved my really number one problem with Evernote, which is accessing notes that I'm currently working on. The new iOS app certainly has improved that situation because we now have quick access to our favorites, whether it's folder, or whether it's notebook, tags or notes but it still doesn't, for some reason, for me, it's just not clicking. And it didn't click before the new iOS upgrade as well. So what I've done, particularly this week, I've actually gone back to my original way of doing it, which I think I started doing this about two years ago. And I'll show you how I do it, simply because it's just, maybe it's just the user interface, but I actually use Apple Notes for the notes that I'm currently working on. And what I want to do is I want to show you how I work between the two in this week's episode. So, okay, I show a lot of love for Evernote and please do not misunderstand me. I really do love Evernote. However, I tend to treat Evernote as a repository for all my notes, research and articles that I just want to keep for, just for memories, if nothing else and for some of the bigger notes. But for the quick access notes, I tend to use Apple Notes. And today I want to show you this. It's kind of, it feels a little bit like a confession because um, I feel like I'm maybe, um, shall we say, being disloyal to Evernote, but I'm not really. It's just making the best use of the tools for the way that I work, which um, for me, a combination of Apple Notes and Evernote working together is my ultimate note taking experience and use. So today I want to show you how I do that. Please feel free to leave in the comments if you have a better way. And maybe some of you guys out there also want to confess to some other note taking applications. So today I want to show you how I do this and show you how once I've finished with a note in Apple Notes, what I actually do with it. So let's go into Evernote and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so for those of you who've been following this channel, you know that I have set up in here a incubator folder. And within my incubator folder, this is what I've been using to actually uh, maintain notes that I'm still working on at any particular time. Once the note has been finished with and I finish making notes, I can move it into its relevant, uh, with its relevant tag and to its relevant notebook. But really, I've just found this still is not perfect with Evernote. Evernote is brilliant at storing notes, but I just don't find it the best place to actually be adding notes to a, things that I'm currently working on. So I've gone back to Apple Notes for this. Now, Apple Notes is brilliant. And let me just bring this into full screen for this particular purpose. Now, what I've done is the way I've set this up is I've got my inbox so that I can talk to Siri. So I can actually ask Siri to send a note to my inbox. But I've got my incubator file and inside my incubator file is things that I'm working on at this particular moment in time. Um, and then I've got my YouTube topics, course ideas for um, my English language business, online course ideas for Udemy, my personal branding, FES is our company which is developing ideas for that, purchases which will be my clothing purchases for this year, quotations, these are just things that I've kept or have been keeping up uh, over the, whenever I see something interesting I can just add it to my quotations and then my goals which are in here or will be in here. So essentially that's how I've set it up. And one of the things I like about Apple Notes, and I know you can do this in Evernote, is actually adding emojis to the thing. It just brightens things up a little bit. But essentially what I'm doing, and I'm showing you this on the computer, but what I would be doing is using this essentially on my iOS devices, whether it's my iPhone or it's my iPad. But the goal is to capture notes as quickly as I possibly can. Now, the key to this is when you've finished with a note. 
So once I've finished with a note, and let's just take this one here, uh, not that one, that's our presentation tip. So look at the way the format is here. Now, unfortunately, even though I do have Evernote set up in my, um, uh, remi uh, in my share sheet, it doesn't come up in notes. So, but I do have, because I regularly do this, I have my recents, which is Evernote Mail. So I can just send that and just say presentation tip. Um, now, by the way, if I'd actually set this note up as a um, as a regular note, so if you notice up here, I, the title, this is not set up as a title. So, hang on a minute, if I just highlight that, um, just go into the note and highlight that. It should set up as a title. Oh, it's a locked note. <laughs> anyway, so... If it was set up as a title, I would be able to change the, the settings for this. Anyway, now the key here is to have a look and look at my inbox. What is set up in here? When this note comes in, it comes in exactly formatted as it was formatted in the note, original note. Okay, so that's really what I wanted to show you. This is how I'm now using Apple Notes. It's a really, really good way of linking Apple Notes and Evernote together. As I say, this is just my personal preference. Uh, I find that Apple Notes is just that much better at capturing and adding notes to while I'm on the move. Evernote is just a brilliant place as a repository to collect my notes over time. Okay. Hopefully you found this episode useful, something to think about at least. And if you have any questions at all about how I'm using Evernote with Apple Notes or any other application, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And I just wish you all now a very, very productive week. And I will see you in the next episode.